Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at probability word problems today. It's when we take our probability to the next level. So let's talk about what to expect. We will talk, briefly define what probability is, show you how to calculate probability, and then switch into word problems. Word problems are going to make up the majority of the problems that we look over today. So quick recap on what probability is. This is the same thing as our previous video on probability. Probability is the favorable outcomes over all possible outcomes. So I'm going to give you a quick example here. I roll a die. What is the probability that I will roll a 3? So remembering that my favorable outcome divided by my total possible outcomes is the equation for probability, I just have to ask myself, how many threes are there? It's sometimes nice to have a picture or to grab an actual die and take a look at it. How many threes are there? Just three. So there is one number three on this die. How many total numbers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six total numbers. So the probability that I'm going to roll a three is 1 out of 6. And sometimes that's complicated because the number 3 makes you think that the number 3 needs to be in the answer. But you're looking for how many number 3's there are, not looking at the number 3 as, as a number. It's just an extra option. Okay, So there's 1 out of 6 um, is the probability that I'm going to roll a number 3. So that's what probability is. It's basically what you're looking for over all different possibilities. Now let's talk about calculating prob probability. When you calculate probability it's written like this. There's a capital P and then inside of parentheses is the event that you are looking for. And the event that you are looking for, how many times that happens, that's gonna go in the numerator. So in our previous example we would be we would write it like this. P parentheses 3. That's the probability of rolling a 3. That means how many times we're going to roll a 3. The probability of actually rolling a 3. And that number, as we said in the previous question, is a 1. There is one 3. So that number will be in the numerator and the total possible outcomes will be in the denominator. Let's, let's do a question with calculating probability. So I want you to solve for this, capital letter P in parentheses gray. What that means is the probability of spinning a gray. So there is one space that is gray and there's four total spaces. The probability of, of spinning a gray is what we are looking for. That is our favorable outcome. That's what's inside the parentheses. That is going into the numerator. The total possible outcomes goes in the denominator, as you see there. So the probability of rolling a gray is 1 out of 4. And that makes sense if you look at this circle with the spinner there. It's 1 fourth of the circle is made up of gray. If we spin this around, the probability is 1 fourth. Now, when we're talking about word problems with probability, you're doing the same thing, only you're taking all your information from the word problem. So let's take a look. If there are three red marbles, two blue marbles, and one yellow marble in a bag, solve for the following probabilities. This one here is the probability of drawing a red. So sometimes I like to draw a picture. It'll help me. There's a, a bag of marbles. Obviously, I drew that myself. I'm quite the artist. Um, so the probability of drawing red, there are three red marbles and six total marbles. So my probability of drawing a red is three marbles out of six. When I reach my hand in there to, to draw out a marble, there are three red marbles out of six total marbles. Now, we can't leave the question like this. We have to reduce it down to lowest terms. So I'm going to divide both of them by our greatest common factor of three, leaving us with one half. Half of the marbles are red, all right? That is how we would solve this probability question with marbles. 
All right, our next probability word problem is the same, same situation, but now we're solving for the probability of a blue marble. Same bag, solving for the probability of blue. There are two blue marbles out of our total of six marbles. So the probability of drawing a blue is two out of six. Now we are going to reduce that down to lowest terms by dividing by our common factor of two. We have to remember to reduce these fractions down to lowest terms. It helps us to keep things simple. So that is the probability of drawing a blue marble. And those are the two questions we're going to do with this bag of marbles. The next type of question is based on an amazing book. If you took the book title Kingdom of Donnell and each letter was made into a card and put into a basket, what is the probability that you will reach in and draw out the letter N? It's a little bit complicated, but we just write it as this, solve for the probability of drawing an N. To help illustrate what the way that I would do it, I'll go ahead and write the, the, the book title, Kingdom of Donnell. And now what I'm going to do is illustrate the times that the letter N appears. So it appears two times. The letter N appears two times. There are a total of 15 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that's the probability then. The probability of drawing out the letter N, if each letter was drawn out at random, is 2 out of 15. And that's how we would solve this with um, the book title Kingdom of Donnell. Let's try another type of problem, a month problem. What is the probability that you are born in a month that ends in ER? Now this is kind of a funny question because um, obviously you know what month you're born in, but if I didn't know you and I were to try to make a guess, what's the probability that you were born in a month that ends in ER? Okay, so I'm solving for my probability of the month ending in ER. And the way that I would do this is probably list all of the months and see how many of them end in ER. Well, I've got September, October, November, and December. They all end in ER. So there are four months that end in ER, and there are a total of 12 months in the year. I realized afterwards I could have done it with Y and it would have been the same number. Same number end in Y as they do end with ER. All right. Or I could have called it BER. Anyway, the point is that the number of months that end in ER are 4 and the total number of months are 12. So the probability that if I chose a month at random that you were born in and the chances are 4 out of 12 that you were born in a month that ends in ER. I would reduce that down to lowest terms and find that one third of the months in the year end in ER. Our final question is a bit of a trick question, so try and find out, try and see the trick in this. In a pet shop that sells only dogs and cats, there are 24 animals for sale, 10 are cats. If I chose an animal at random, I want you to solve for the probability that that animal will be a dog. The challenge and trick with this is right here. I never gave you the number of dogs. I never told you how many dogs there were in this pet shop. But the information in the word problem gives you enough information that you can solve it. So the trick with this really is that is to get people out of the habit of just writing down the two numbers that you see. If you wrote 10 and 24, no matter what order you wrote them in, you would get this question wrong. So you have to carefully read and figure out that there are 14 dogs. The total number of animals is 24. 10 are cats. If we subtract, we'll get that 14 of these are dogs. There's 14 dogs and 10 cats. So the probability of selecting um, a dog when we pick an animal at random would be 14 over 24. And we reduce that down to lowest terms by dividing both the top and bottom by 2, and our probability is 7 out of 12. So again, look for those trick questions. Look for those things and be expecting to see some, some questions that might be a little bit more tricky. All right, what to expect? Let's see. Did we talk about probability? 
Did we calculate probability? And did we talk about word problems? I think that's what we expected and that's what we got. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.